Don is associated with Mr. Fuji. Obviously, Greg, your dad, Johnny. Um, right. Who, of you know, you both associate with some of the all-time biggest ribbers, greatest ribbers ever. Uh, the Bulldogs as well, of course. you got to give us some rib stories. Who was the greatest ribber of all time, do you think? Oh, well, well I, I think my dad was, but uh, that's a, the other generation that, 60s generation, but and part of the 70s, but the Bulldogs, <laughs> the Bulldogs, they uh, they took over that. They took over the ribbing for a while. They were pretty wild. They were always doing something, you know. They were ruthless. Oh, they were, and, and they were bad ribs too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There were bad ribs. And uh, so guys I, remember back they, from Vegas. I was in Japan with them and they uh they uh they put remember those halcyons, that shit? Halcyons? Well whatever they, they had, put, whatever with Valium Halcyon. They put some halcyons, they dropped a couple in them. And a beer I was drinking. And it was foaming up, but I was so stupid I drank the beer anyway. And I went upstairs, I went up to the went across the street, went up into my hotel room, and in the morning they were bang, bang, bang. The bus was there to pick us up. This was in this was in Japan, and they had to drag me out. I was passed out from those. Bulldogs putting the house on in my beer. Oh my god! Yeah, those 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 are European vacation moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was brutal. That was brutal. So from then from then on, I would I would check all my food and everything, make sure I didn't have any of those blue pills in there. <laughs> Was that what Fuji used to do as well? Or was he more creative? Who's that? Uh, Mr. Fuji. Oh. Oh, God. Yeah, he always... Uh, I could tell you some stuff, but I got a real good story, but I I can't... I can't tell you the story. Oh. <laughs> it's too gross. And uh, And my wife watches these things, too, so... No, it's yeah. too gross. That's, 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 that's the problem with these things, right? Yeah. A, you can only go so far. She, the, she watches. The, it's nothing that I did. It's just something that uh, that that Fuji did. And, oh, my God, you know. Um, but it, anyway. Fuji involve... would make a production of it. Fuji would, do, you know, yeah. he'd put yeah. time, he'd put money, he'd, he'd put whatever, you know. Yeah. Oh, he! Did, I had a truck. I left with a truck with him when I was in New York. Came back to Hawaii, and then went back with the truck. And you know, I didn't like a bunch of lights and stuff. I came back and I had a pickup truck. Was covered with light, all kinds of big lights on the top and all kinds of shit. <laughs> oh, you know, it must have cost him. You know, in those days, you know, five six hundred bucks to put yeah. all. You know, this is a long time ago to put all those. Now it'd be a couple grand. But but you know, everything just about everything he did backfired because. Coming back from Allentown one night, he had to follow me because my lights, my, my truck lights are so bright. <laughs> oh man! Can you tell any about your uh, your dad, Greg? That he did? Because I heard one the other day about the inhaler, and uh, is it Yukon John or something? No, no, that Jay was York. Uh, Jay York, sorry, Jay yeah. York, Jay York. Uh, yeah, that's a classic because. That's uh, notorious. Yeah, because he had this atomizer and, and uh, he'd go out and wrestle. He'd come back in and, you know, he couldn't breathe. He'd go, and he'd hit that atomizer. Well, my dad put lighter fluid in. So he came out of the ring and he hit it and, <gasps> and he, oh, I guess he, he fell down. I mean, oh, my God. So all that lighter fluid went in his lungs, and he knew it was Johnny Valentine. So um, my dad's standing there 
with the Halliburtons back in the day when we had all the Halliburtons. And the uh, story has it that he took a shotgun and shot right at my dad, but he hit the uh, he hit the suitcase instead. And my dad's just standing there, you know. And legend has it that that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a classic story. That was before our time. That that's a yeah, that's legendary. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of the things that were never, never around, we're never around. But that was my dad that was a had a knack. My dad had a knack for uh he used to play a lot of ribs and especially down in Fort Worth and uh he'd get an ice cream cone and and all the boys would have like a little locker room, locker area where they'd sit back in and he took an ice cream cone. I don't know how he did it, but he took a dump on the ice cream cone and twirled it like dairy cream. And then he, he set it in this guy's locker room or this little locker. And oh my God. And I just marveled at the fact that how could you twirl it like dairy cream? Without getting shit all over me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my dad was a master river. Did he um did he teach you the art of the rib, or was this something that you sort of had to figure out on your own, or were you a big river at all? No, no, I didn't want to do that. And and I figured that the people would be waiting for me to do that because of his reputation. And I just never really, I never really wanted to do that. I'm not a practical joker. And uh, uh, I mean, how are you going to follow that, you know? <laughs> you never yeah, learned a bigger cone? Yeah, you never learned how to uh, shit in a, in a cone then, with a swirl. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you a story. Um, he told me to go get him some beer, and we were in Akron, Ohio, or something. So I went and got some beer, and I knocked on the door, and he says, "Open the door." And this, I'm his son now. He's playing a rib on me, right? I reached down and opened the door, and there was shit on the handle. And then he swings the door open, and he had a garbage can full of water, and he bounced me. <laughs> And then he slammed the door in my face. So I got a little bit of treatment there. <laughs> he was mad. I said, why did you do that to me? He goes, ah, I was in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I, heard that, I heard that story about Steve. I, that kept uh, Steve Kern from getting the, the, the strap in New York. I, the, the Before Backland, it was between him, him and Bob. Yeah, to get there, but I guess they'd gone to Japan with uh, and Blassie was there. You know, Blassie was a legend right, in Japan. Right. Ricky Dozan and all that stuff, and they'd done this. They done with the door thing and the crap on the door door handle and stuff. Yeah, and I remember back at well TV every time. You know how the kid he loved he loved Fred. You know, yeah, uh, Vince. He lo he loved he loved yeah. Freddie, and every time some. The name would come up or something, and Freddie would just go off, you know about you know about about Steve and you know all that. You know, and I go, oh god! But I yeah. remember James one time mentioning that uh, it was it was like down to between Steve and and Bob for who was going to replace uh, Billy for the right. WWF strap up there. Yeah, and I said, well, I, it was it, I was obviously before the the Japan trip that 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 he was a. Uh, that he was considered that because Blassie came back and just just soiled them, you know, just corrupt all over you know, every every <laughs> chance he got. Yeah. 